Hi everybody and welcome to my vintage Lego airport. A couple weeks ago the folks who were at Flight Test did a really neat little video where they took one of the new Lego city sets and they converted it into a flying quadcopter. And that inspired me to try try my own. So walking through Target, I came across this, which is one of the new Lego Technic sets for 2019. It's the Lego Rescue Helicopter. And it looked just about the right size to fit a little um, collective pitch heli on the inside of. And it turns out that Lego's stock rotor size blade is almost a perfect match for a 130 size helicopter frame. So I tried to fit a Blade 130S into the LEGO Technic set. So one of the main challenges here was trying to figure out how to get the mechanics to fit in on the inside without having to do too many modifications to the helicopter itself and while maintaining the lines of the original Technic set. There's a, there's a couple of kind of happy coincidences here that work out so that it was a relatively straightforward build. The first is that the seats up front, which were originally these little lift arms here, are almost exactly the same size as the battery that came with the little blade heli. So this is a three cell, 300 milliamp hour pack, and that just sits up front where the, the little seats went. The other is that the, the set was originally designed for a little hospital gurney to go in the back, and that means that the inside is relatively open and gave enough room to fit in the helicopter mechanics. So I'll try to take it apart here. So the two little engine pieces come off. And I added an extra pin in the back to hold the doors shut. So you open the doors. And then the two standard body mounting lugs on the helicopter actually engage these two little axle holes with pins on the set. So you can spread that apart and out pops your helicopter frame. So I didn't really have to do any real modifications to helicopter frame other than just shaving off the, the battery mounting tray so that there's a little extra room here. And you can see on the inside of the Technic set, I just had to remove the, the drive mechanism for the main rotor and then clean up some of the lift arms in here so that there's a little extra space. Uh, there weren't really any part modifications required, and I was able to maintain the stock gear. Now one of the only real part modifications that had to happen, and forgive me LEGO folks for, for modifying a piece, but I wanted to make sure that the, the lift arm back here that makes the tail boom on the Technic helicopter fit really closely to the tail boom on the, on the blade heli. So I, I dremeled out the bottom of this lift arm piece so that it it fits right around that boom. Other than that, I just removed the, the tail drive components so that there was enough room for the tail rotor to fit in the back. And this is neat in that I can remove all these parts pretty quickly and convert it back to the stock heli if I just wanna fly it around. So let's see if I can put it back together in real time. So you just kinda spread the frame out here get it seated up in front and then you can see here those little body mounting sticks engage those Technic axle holes. Get that all in there. Close up the rear door. And then we just put on those two little engine pieces. Just like that, you've got yourself a flying LEGO Technic helicopter. Now this was a fun little project that just took a few evenings of work. And it was relatively straightforward to get the heli to fit on the inside. And I think that I'm gonna look around for a couple other Technic or you know, LEGO City sets that I can try this out on with a few of the other helis that I have. As always, if you guys have any questions about the build, just leave them below in the comments. And thanks for watching.